In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can turn famous people into kids using Midjourney. This is a really fun tutorial and it's a really fun thing to do. You've probably seen it in TikToks and YouTube shorts and things like that. Here's some that I've already made and I'll, I'll give you a second to see if you can work out who it is and then I'll tell you. Of course, that's Elon Musk. I think that looks really, really good. This one here is a little trickier. If you're a Marvel fan, you might recognize this guy. It is Robert Downey Jr. And this, this here is a really good likeness because you've maybe seen her when she was quite young starring in films. It is Emma Watson who's the star of Harry Potter, one of the stars of Harry Potter. And then th this here is a really funny image. He doesn't have that much hair now at all. Jeff Bezos. And this is one of my favourite football players, maybe the greatest football player that's ever lived and that's Cristiano Ronaldo. And with those eyes, you nearly know who this is. It's Maverick himself, Tom Cruise. And if you didn't like my pick for the greatest ever footballer, you might like this guy, or you might think it's this guy, and it's Lionel Messi. And I like that it's even got the Barcelona colours of his tie. And I know he doesn't play for Barcelona now, but that's really cool. And speaking of colours that might give the game away, this guy's wearing a yellow. He's also going to be wearing a yellow suit very soon. And it is Wolverine, Hugh Jackman. And that's just, that just looks, well it is, it's Tom Hanks, isn't it? You, you didn't even need me to give you any any clue there. And it's, it's as if he looks just big, really, really good likeness there. And I nearly don't even need to comment who this is. It is, of course, Taylor Swift. So now we'll dive into Mid Journey and I'll show you the prompt I use to make all these and also break it down for you. I've opened up Mid Journey and as you can see, I've made lots of these characters already and I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom I'm going to hit forward slash imagine and then I'm going to enter my prompt I'm going to break down the prompt for you and this is where the magic is more or less all you need is this prompt you can find it in the description below just copy and paste it just change the name and then you're set to go a mid shot so a mid shot really is what you're seeing now it's just my upper body it's a mid shot of a 1980s yearbook photo. And we all know what a yearbook photo is from school. Why 1980s? Because it's got a certain feel to it. It's a bit of nostalgia too. And I just think it makes these images really, really look a bit, bit old school and a bit cool. Of a three-year-old, in this case, we're gonna go for Leonardo DiCaprio, looking directly at the camera, set against a soft, blurry, plain 1980s photographic background. We all know what those backgrounds looked like in the 80s. Vintage colors gentle lighting, nostalgic feel, retro taken with a 35 millimeter camera, which is a type of camera, which will get a bit of this grainy old school effect using a 50 millimeter lens. And that's the, that's the lens. And 50 mil is a pretty standard portrait lens. When you're using that lens, it can make the background look a wee bit blurry and the portrait just pop off the page a little bit more. And then we've got our aspect ratio of 16 by nine. And you can change that to nine by 16 if you want to do it in a short. So I'm simply going to hit enter and hopefully this won't take too long. That didn't take too long. And as always with mid journey, we've got four options. So I'm going to click into these four options and there are four pretty good options. This one's really nice. Hello, his eyes. There's just something I'm not too sure about. They're really bright. They're really blue. The background I'm not too sure about. This looks really good. And I really like this one. And this one is okay. But again, the background's not right. So I'm choosing between these two. And I think this here looks more like a three-year-old. This one here really looks as if it is Leonardo DiCaprio, just kind of as a man, but as a three-year-old, if that makes sense. And I really like this one. So I'm going to go out of that. And I'm going to upscale number three. One, two, three. And I can also make a variation of that too. And you can see how long that took. That didn't take long at all. And that looks really, really good. I think you would know it was Leonardo DiCaprio. Okay. And I'm also going to click variation. I'm going to make a variation of that. And it's going to make slight changes. And it's going to give us four more options. And if you're not happy with any of these options, as always with Mid Journey, there's these two arrows. You can click again and that's going to tell us. I'm going to hit submit and it's going to reprompt that same prompt and we'll maybe get something that's even better. And in this case, I'm not too sure if I like any of them more than the current one we have. I don't, I'm not fond of these two. This one here isn't bad, but I think if we scroll up, I think I really like this. I really like that hair. It's nearly like a 1990s hair. 
Now we're in the 1980s. And again, with this prompt, we could change it to 1970s, 1960s, and change up this style. And this, click into this. Again, very, very blue eyes, maybe too blue. And they're all not too bad, but I think my original prompt here, I'm really happy with it. I'm going to upscale it in mid journey. There's other ways to upscale it too not using mid journey and we're actually going to look at upscalers in a video coming very soon there's some paid versions there's some free versions the only thing about using the mid journey upscaler is it takes a long time it takes longer than to actually generate the images so that's why quite often i don't use mid journey i bring it into another application and again we'll talk about those in a future video and there we have our upscale image of leonardo dicaprio and the best way to get results with mid journey is actually if you open it in a browser that's going to give you the best quality and we can click on it here and we can see just how detailed it is there you have it now you too can turn any famous person into a child again using mid journey prompt i use is in the description below please check it out and let me know in the comments what other other famous people would you like to see as children and I'll maybe make another video or do something a bit different with that too and until the next time thanks for watching my name's Andrew and I'll see you in the next video